Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at Tech Travel Geeks. This is the comparison between the Nokia 4.2 and the Nokia 2.2 Android handsets. If you do already, thank you for subscribing to the Tech Travel Geeks. And if you don't, please do click that subscribe button. You'll get notified of all the latest videos we publish on our Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Right, let's get down to comparing the Nokia 4.2 with the Nokia 2.2. Both are Android One devices. This means that they get the latest software and security updates from Google and Nokia, usually not long after the Google Pixel devices do. Now, both have some lovely 5.71 inch LCD displays. They're not super high definition, but they're 1520 by 720. Honestly, to most users, this won't make a difference. It looks and feels like a crisp, clear screen. It's bright, it's legible in sunlight, uh, and I quite enjoy using both devices. You'll see at the top of the screen there's a little notch. That's so that the selfie cameras can be put into the device whilst minimizing the actual uh, bezel on the device. Now, the Nokia 2.2 is a much less expensive device. It's around about £79, and with a, a £10 top-up, you can walk out of a store with a fully functioning phone and 30 days service in the UK. So it is much more affordable. The Nokia 4.2 is around about £129. But there's some serious differences in terms of build quality. Whilst the similarities on the screen and the software are very noticeable, the rest of the devices are significantly different. So as you can see from the front, they look very, very similar. But let's turn the devices over onto their back. As you can see, they're both fingerprint magnets, but the Nokia 2.2 has a removable back. So that means you can take off the express on cover. This will tri trigger the nostalgia of some Nokia fans from the past. I'm struggling to do that at the moment. It's well clipped on, but you can see you can remove the express on cover and you can also buy these separately if you prefer to have a different colour. You can purchase them online from Nokia or from Amazon. The back of the device has a removable battery. That's a 3000 milliamp hour battery you can pop out and pop back in. So you can take this out and use that uh, if you're travelling, for example, with... Uh, with another battery so that you don't need to carry a power bank and a cable around you can do just that and you can also see the slot for the second sim card and the micro sd card and the main sim card goes in the slot on the right and the express on cover is light it seems to be quite sturdy and the good thing about it is the camera bump doesn't protrude it's slightly restressed i mean it's just a tiny amount into the, the body of the device, which means it'll, it's less likely to get scratched. So that's the Nokia 2.2. It's unapologetically plastic. It has a single camera on the back. It's well built, but it feels light and plasticky. Whereas the Nokia 4.2, this is the more expensive of the two, has a more well-built solid feel to it. It's a non-removable back. You can see there's also a fingerprint scanner on the back of the device. There's two cameras. Uh, the main camera is a 13 megapixel one. And there is also a 2 megapixel depth sensor for giving you bokeh effects. Um, the Nokia uh, 4.2 seems to have slightly less bezels, probably because it doesn't have the Express on cover. And it is also a much faster device. So this is definitely a more premium device, but that's to be expected. It's about 50% higher price to purchase. Um, and in terms of software experience, as I said, they're both running Android One. They're very, very similar. 
Uh, you have all the standard Google apps. There seems to be no bloat at all. Um, in this case, uh, both devices are running Android Pi. That's Android 9 Pi. And it's a pleasant overall experience. Uh, this is me shutting down applications I have running in the background. And you can see they're both quite responsive and fast. It's particularly impressive for the £79 Nokia 2.2. Now, we would mentioned similarities in software. Uh, Google software that Nokia have installed on this device is supported by the Google Assistant buttons. Both the Nokia 4.2 and the Nokia 2.2 have buttons on their sides to invoke the Google Assistant. So we'll do that. Interesting. There we go. Thanks. That's the Google Assistant, which was triggered by the button on the side. You'll notice that because the Nokia 2.2 is a bit slower, it took some time to wake up and open that application. It does have less memory. This has two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, whilst the Nokia 4.2 has three gigabytes of RAM. So that's a, a noticeable difference. I'm going to try this again. We'll click the button at the same time. There is a slight lag there, but overall, pretty pleasant software experience. Now we mentioned the cameras. The Nokia 2.2 has a single 13 megapixel camera with flash. Nothing exceptional. The pictures are fine in good lighting conditions, but horrendous in low light. But for £79, nothing to complain about. And on the front, that notch houses, uh, in this case, it houses a 5 megapixel selfie camera, whilst the Nokia 4.2 houses an 8 megapixel selfie camera. So definitely a difference there in terms of selfies. If selfies are important to you, I would recommend spending a bit more money to get the Nokia 4.2. So the Nokia 4.2 has a faster chipset, as we said. It's not just faster, it has more cores. This is octa-core. It has eight hamsters running the show, whereas the Nokia 2.2 has a quad-core chipset from MediaTek, which is four hamsters. So more hamsters is better. And another thing is the fingerprint scanner. The Nokia 2.2 does not have a fingerprint scanner. You need to enter your your pattern code or enable face unlock, as I'm just about to do. It doesn't recognize me. I'll need to face this better later, but it does work. It is functional. It takes a little longer than drawing your pattern on the screen. Whereas the Nokia 4.2 has both pattern unlock, passcode unlock, face unlock, which has just worked, and a fingerprint scanner. I'd say the only downside to this fingerprint scanner is that it is very flush with the body of the device. Uh, and that means that you often find yourself touching the camera module more than you do the fingerprint scanner. But overall, it is a pleasant experience. I haven't had any major issues with it. And one standout feature that I think the Nokia 4.2 has done really, really well is the notification button. So what happens is this button is also your power button, but when you get a notification, it lights up. You get a you get a, a flash on it on the screen. So I'm going to to demonstrate that in a separate video because I think it's worth doing so. But this notification light is definitely worth uh, an extra few pounds in your purchasing decision. In my view, it makes a difference. Let's not also forget both devices have courage ports. That's 3.5 millimeter audio jack so that you can plug in headphones. I find this particularly useful when traveling because if your Bluetooth headphones run out of juice, you can always plug in uh, the wire to your Bluetooth headphones or some wired headphones. Very useful in those conditions. And both devices, as a word of warning, run on micro USB. That's the older micro USB for charging. So that's an overview of the main differences and similarities of the Nokia 4.2 and 2.2. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube and keep an eye out for our written reviews on techtravelgeeks.com. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye.